before I start the video, you know, I don't work at IHOP. And I'm never going to work there ever again. I'm just wearing a shirt. I'm going to cut the sleeves off so I can be able to, uh, because it's hot. It's hot with a black shirt on. You know, I got to work out and stuff like that. But I just wanted to make y'all a video, man. You know, talking about seam retention and how I'm going to start taking it very seriously. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take it very, very seriously because I got to, I need an edge, man. I need an edge. You know, I've been, I've been working out and stuff like that. Y'all see, I've been slimming down. I'm at 296. Um, yesterday I had a, I had a bad day. You know, I was eating garbage. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I had some Tostitos and then I finished it off with sushi, but I had bought a cheesecake for my mom and my siblings and I ended up going ballistic, but it didn't really affect me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it didn't affect me at all. You know, I still at 296. Today I had a bowl of cereal and uh, another piece of cheesecake. And I had two hot dogs I just ate like five minutes ago. But I say three, but <laughs> it ain't, ain't gonna destroy me. So, but you know, I'm, I think I'm done eating. Probably have like a snack before I work out tonight. But uh, I'm just gonna tell y'all, man, I gotta, I'm taking SR seriously, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I want to thank Shade Line King for it too because, you know, I got to, right now is it's, it's now more than ever. You know what I mean? It's serious. This is serious. I got to, you know, I've been praying to God to lead me. And I feel like he's led me and he's telling me what I need to do. And, you know, I didn't hear him bring up or feel him bring up SR or anything like that. I feel like this is a decision I'm making, but I feel like he's led me to where I need to go with my long-term goals, you know what I'm saying? Long-term goals. So, you know, that being said, um, I'm hopping on SR so I can get, like I said earlier, an edge. You know, I'm, I need to leave Louisiana. That's my first step. I gotta get out of here. Um, I was thinking about getting a job. You know, I could just move to another state. You know, I won't have any money. You know, my phone's not gonna be paid off and stuff like that, but you know, I gotta, I gotta have some kind of cash, some kind of funds, you know, to get my, get my bus ticket and get out of here. So I was thinking about just grinding my teeth down and getting, getting a job, you know, working at McDonald's, at least for a little bit, you know, working at McDonald's uh, for a morning shift and then working somewhere else for an afternoon shift and then closing the day out, working out. You know, this is temporary. It's not like I'm building my career here. You know, I was talking to some woman, what, two days ago? And she was like, she worked for McDonald's for 20 years and it was depressing. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not. But, damn, I just sneeze. <clears throat> Sheesh. But, yeah, man, I got to I gotta go, bro. I got to get out of here. You know, I got no privacy. I got no space. Um, you know, I've been paying rent. It's crazy. I've been spending like 800 to 900 a month on rent, splitting it. And I don't even have my own room. <laughs> that's just, that's just really funny to me. You know, don't even got my own room. It's just like, whoa. So, you know, I was, I'm just going to have to take it upon myself to just bite my teeth down. You know, I, I've been waiting on the Navy for six months and I still don't have an answer, bro. Still got people playing games. Still got people meddling in my future. So I'm not even worried about it. I'm just gonna act like it's not even in the books. You know, I'm just I'm just I'm just not even worried about it. At this point, I don't even wanna go. You know what I'm saying? I don't even wanna go. I had a commander approve me, and then there then there's some issues with my signatures because I didn't sign a paper and now they're saying the packet has to be resent and all that. So I don't know what's gonna happen with it. I don't care. You know, I'm I'm just ready to move on with my life. So that's what I'm doing is moving forward with my life. So first step of the game for me is I gotta get my my licenses paid off, man. I owe a speeding ticket in Georgia and I gotta fix my driver's license, you know. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just work save up money to get a bus ticket and then um head out to to a different state where my friend is and just make my life there i figure everything will be more peaceful because i have more time to think you know what i mean i have more time to think more time to focus 
and I wouldn't be so stressed because that's the that's the that's the killer. That's the mind killer is stress. You know, it's kind of stressful when you have to lord over a bunch of people. And I have a dog that I don't even want. I don't even want this dog anymore. My mom, I was going to call the dog pound, but my mom was like, no, let's just keep in and try to train it. And I'm just like, man, I don't feel like training the dog. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Today, I'm today. I'm going to try to train the dog. But I'm just like, man, I don't want to deal with this damn dog anymore. I want to go. I want to get out of here. I want to leave, bro. I want to leave. <laughs> you know? So I'm just, I'm just going to take it, man. Today is day zero. Tomorrow's the next day. SR day one. You know, and I'm just gonna, it's gonna be like a brutal transformation because right now it's like crunch time, man. Right now it's like, man, let's do or die. You gotta figure it out. Like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And I think my first step of what I'm gonna do is fix all my debts. You know, just everything I owe, just pay it. Get my credit card paid. You know, get my, get my credit score fixed completely. That's my first step. And then, you know, buy a vehicle and then plan my move. I feel I figured that that state that I'm moving to, I'll live there to the end of this year and then, you know, head out. Or maybe I'll stay there longer. Maybe I'll create a life out there in the Midwest somewhere. But, you know, being here in Louisiana is just not it for me. You know what I mean? Just look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at my eyes, man. If I can zoom in here like I can do on my um, on that Samsung I had, you'll understand. Like, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Like, this is how bad I need SR. You know, what I love about SR is just hyper-focus. It's like, no more games, man. Like, I've been in the house all day because I was like, I'm about to leave. But I ended up buying the wrong ticket. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, get it together, man. You know, and I'm going to persevere and push through. You know, I had multiple times to leave, but... Yeah, I just you just get held back by people, bro, and it's a it's sickening, it's sickening, <laughs> it's sickening. You know, the Navy held me back, my mom held me back. You know, all these people holding me back. It's just like, what the freak, man? So, no more complaining, just solutions. You know, already making my first solution by working out. You know, I made tremendous gains. I'm at a point now where I can run a full lap around my lake without catching a sweat. Only thing that tires me out is my calves that's the only thing otherwise all systems check you know what i'm saying i'm i would go to the i typically go to the gym in the afternoons but it's been so freaking hot it's been terrible so your boy just been going at night well i haven't really i go to the gym but i'm just like fuck that i can't do nothing because i'm so tired but you know tonight i'm going to the gym and do some workouts and uh you know, just get it, just get everything in order, man. Get my body in order. You know, my goal right now is to get the 289, which is possible. <laughs> Probably possible. You know what I'm saying? Get the 289 and then keep persevering and pushing through. You know what I mean? So that's it. That's all I got to say. You know, this ain't no, oh, well, it's me kind of word. This is just me telling y'all my plans and what I'm doing and how I'm going to get it. I'm out.